Hello and welcome to episode 28 of the Ukulele Sessions and today I am extremely excited to be joined by Giovanni Albini. Now something that's been a hot topic recently amongst ukulele players is how the ukulele can be pushed forward as an instrument and I think something that um, an awful lot of people agree on is that it needs more modern, well-respected composers to be composing for the ukulele. And Giovanni is at the forefront of that. Um, let me tell you a little bit about him. Um, Giovanni, um, he's based in Milan. Um, he's a composer, music theorist, and a wonderful, wonderful ukulele player. And he currently uh, lectures in music theory and music perception at one of the top universities in Italy. He's given lectures all around the world including at Yale University and in England. Um, he's written lots and lots of music, he's done many soundtracks, he's done work for TV, commercial trailers, um, etc. And all of uh, his music recordings are available through brilliant classics. Um, now, the thing that I want to talk about with Giovanni is the work that he's doing in pushing the ukulele forward. First and foremost, he is a wonderful, wonderful player. But what he's doing, he's really devoted himself to the modern and classical repertoire for the ukulele and pushing that forward. What I love so much about him is that one minute you'll hear him playing Bach's cello suite in a beautiful, beautiful style. And then the next you'll have heard him commissioned modern pieces. Now he's commissioned pieces by Fabrizio Nastario, Matteo Giannari, and also the wonderful Welsh composer David John Roach. This is such an important area if the ukulele is to move forward. And Giovanni is doing so much because he commissions these pieces and then he plays them so, so wonderfully. And um, that's what he's going to treat us to today, actually. Let me just uh, tell you a little bit about the bit that he's going to do today. It's um, He treats us to the Now the Powers of Heaven, which is by Russian composer Alexander Sheremetev. Um, the original score was for a choir, and um, it's an incredibly massive piece. It's, it's an expanse of music. And then Giovanni has taken it, and he's put it on our wonderful little friend. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. The, the triplets at the beginning sort of remind me of a bit of an etude by Tarragon, and then, then it wanders off into kind of Dowland territory, a sort of Renaissance period. Um, it sort of shifts effortlessly effortlessly between the two and then at the end it actually sounds quite modern um, it, it uses at the end Giovanni uses um, spazzolata strumming technique um, that actually comes from the word um, brush and if you watch what um, Giovanni's doing it's kind of a muted almost brush sound that he's getting there um, in this piece, Giovanni uses a wonderful instrument that he told me about. I'm just going to read a little bit. He said it's his favourite instrument. It's a custom concert scale of Mogar or Monzino Garlandini ukulele produced in Milan. Um, it was made in the 30s. Um, a lot of the Italian instruments that were built in that period are really, really rare. And this is a custom one, so it's extremely rare. It's got a beautiful, dark, textured, velvety sound. I mean, it's a beautiful looking uke as well. Um, now, it's recently been restored by Master Luthier Federico Gabrielli. I bet you're probably getting rid of uh, fed up of my um, Italian <laughs> pronunciations by now. Um, and it used the same historic materials that it was um, built with. Um, in fact, after um, Giovanni recovered the ukulele um, he contacted the Monzino Foundation he started tracing its history and put it uh, back together knowing what they knew about it and it's a beautiful uke and boy does it shine in Giovanni's hands it really does um, so this is a wonderful wonderful piece please check out Giovanni's other works on YouTube especially the um, the pieces where he's commissioned composers to play um, to write pieces for him it, it's a brave thing to do and he really is pushing the ukulele forward um, just watching this you, you're going to master uh, uh, Giovanni's you know mastery of his art um, and I think you'll really really enjoy that it's been an absolute honor to have him on it really has so sit back 
relax and enjoy. Giovanni Labini. Thank you.